Uh, hi, this is very different from what I'm used to and what you guys are used to. Um, to get to the point, because I know I'm really bad at talking all in one go, this is just a video that I wanted to make because I thought it was important for me and for you guys because I like being honest with you. I you know I like having this relationship that's like, um, oh my god, I'm already rambling. You guys know I like being honest with you about my life because I don't like creating this facade that my whole life is perfect and okay even though the past few videos may have seen that way because um I talked about how I'm doing so much better in that get ready with me but that was filmed like three weeks ago and since three weeks life has changed dramatically um and by the way I'm not like I'm not gonna show my face in this not because I'm a coward I show my face every day goddamn but it's because I want you to listen to my words and what I have to say and not focus on my face because I know some people just look at me because I'm cute and you know what that's not gonna happen today because I ain't looking cute at all today let me tell you uh, so this is just an uncut version of what I wanted to talk about sort of podcast style except it's more just a vent and I kind of want to start doing this more like on my second channel which I have not done at all I haven't uploaded anything it was supposed to be a gaming channel at first but I've decided maybe let's do that venting agent because I used to be a bit like a thing I did where I did a bunch of rants and you guys really like those and I don't really rant anymore about things I kind of just vent out my issues um, so I asked you guys on Twitter like do you think this is a good idea and all of you said yeah it's good for you and we want to hear your input and this could help some people who are in similar situations so if you want to see more of these videos that are just literally a black screen um, with some film static to make it interesting that can go on from like 10 minutes to 40 minutes that are just like little talks between you and me just you can subscribe to that other channel and that's not me advertising it I just rather put this video on the main channel because I feel like well it's <laughs> it's about my main channel so to get to the point holy shit this has been going on for two minutes I have been feeling sad for around two weeks now and no this I don't think this is seasonal depression I don't want to really talk about that topic because I kind of think it's a little controversial I don't want to popularize the idea of like well, that, um, I know people sometimes see it as a trend, and I don't want to do anything with that. I'm just upset, because I get in these mood swings a lot, and, like, especially at night, because I know that's a thing psychologically. I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention in class back then. Um, but, yeah, for the past two weeks, I've been really upset, and I haven't really told all my friends, so whoever is watching this right now, I'm sorry you have to hear it this way. Um, hope you aren't mad at me for not coming up to you in person. It's just hard to tell people over and over again, and I'm also a little insecure about telling people. Uh, you'll see why. But I felt that, well, if I'm going to be honest with like my friends, then I should be honest with my whole audience, because you guys are my friends at the end of the day. I don't like the fan idea or like making that distinction that you are just viewers to me. It's not it at all. Like You mean the world to me so I'd rather you know what's going on with my life because you care about me and I think it's important um basically to I'm, I'm gonna say this one time okay so if anyone comments like you're being dramatic fuck off um this is a first world problem this is a first 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 world LA girl uh visco like I got into college because my parents pay for me kind of problem because I am very blessed to have this platform. I am very privileged with these opportunities I get as a YouTuber. I know that. But I have a feelings too, okay? I am a human. Uh, I realize I just said I have a feelings, whatever. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not just some person to watch who's going to give you entertainment 24-7, okay? I'm a human being in fucking college. I'm emotional as shit, okay? I've been through shit. Like, this... I, <laughs> I go through normal stuff too. So, yeah. I'm upset and I'm gonna talk about this and these are valid feelings and you're gonna listen and not try to say like you're being dramatic because I already know I'm always being dramatic so no need to rub it in um that might get, cause a controversy now that I think about it for what I just said whatever I said it uh and I meant it so on YouTube my, my channel for the past I think five or six videos to say at least they've been doing 
poorly. Um, I'm not going to say shit because they're still like decent, I guess. But to tell you a little bit about like the behind the scenes of YouTubers, typically you want to get one fourth of your audience watching. So like, let's say I have 200,000 subscribers. Well, then I should have 50,000 people watching me. If I have 400,000 subscribers, I should have around 100,000 people watching me. You do the math for the rest. That just shows that your channel is doing well and you're growing, basically. It's like okay, you're doing fine, honey, you can keep going. That's what YouTube's telling you. And that's where your audience is telling you. They're enjoying it, they're watching it. And that has been my number, like my ratio for a while. And as much as I hate talking about the numbers side of YouTube and like the analytics and the revenue, it's a job, it's my job, and I have to care about my job because this is my dream job. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about the numbers sometimes. And it's also important. And I'm not ashamed to talk about money or like numbers because it's a reality. I'm not going to hide it. Um, so for my videos lately, you can go check right now. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'd say they've been doing like one tenth, even sometimes below. And to say it the least, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what's going on. Um, it all started with that Curology video. And I was like, okay, yes, that I did re-upload that video because I'm a dumbass. Because the first time I uploaded it, it got like 6,000 views in the first hour, and my average is 12,000 views. So I was like, hmm, something's a little off here. That doesn't make sense. Let me try re-uploading it. Maybe people didn't get a notification. So then I re-uploaded it, and it just did worse, because that's what it does. People aren't going to re-watch the same video, okay? That's common sense. I didn't think about that. So I think it's around almost 40,000, and currently my YouTube following is like 465,000. So I was like okay, maybe I just had an off day. Maybe the video didn't get reached. Like maybe a lot of people didn't watch because it was just re-uploaded or maybe people didn't like skincare videos anymore or the fact that it was sponsored, which I don't know. I still don't know if people don't like the sponsored things. Um, let me know, okay? But because I know some, like from what I hear, you guys don't care and you guys like the fact that I can, like I'm trying to keep, or I'm just trying to pay for college. Like you guys like the idea that I can, I'm trying to reach out to more companies and I appreciate that. Um, I always get scared doing sponsorships. Like it's, I always don't, I just worry that people are going to look at it the wrong way. Cause it's not just about money. Okay. But it's like, it is about money. I mean, I obviously, but it's not the fact that I'm taking money over honesty. Okay. It's never going to be like that. Let me just tell you right now. Um, so I thought, you know, YouTube used to demonetize videos and I recommend them because you have like Patreon in your description and Twitch and YouTube hated the fact that you could make money from another platform, blah, blah, blah. That was like two years ago. So I was like, probably not that, maybe just an off day. Next video, still not as good. Next video, still not as good. And I was a painting video and I was like, the reason why I did that painting video because I wanted to be like, okay, let me see if it's me or if it's the content because painting videos always do well. And like when I made that Curology video, I got so scared that like the company would just be mad at me. They'd be like, why didn't you get 100,000? Like you always get 100,000. What is this shit? And then the same thing happened with that Skillshare video. Like I just, I got scared for myself because I was like, I felt like I disappointed the people who trusted me in their company and being able to get their message across. So that got to my head mentally a little bit because um, you know, I always blame myself for this Type, like anything I will blame myself um but I also noticed like I started losing subscribers and oh my god yeah I know so such a first world problem yeah whatever it's the fact that I had I haven't had like this low of a viewership and subscriber loss since like two years ago and that was because bitch I stopped making videos that I lost subscribers like it it just hurts because I had all this momentum and you guys saw it. Like I went from a hundred thousand to 200,000 to 300, 400. And I was like, so proud of myself. I was like, finally, maybe I made it on YouTube for once. And to see it start going down, like it hurt. It's like, you think you finally got there. You know, you've been telling yourself for four years, maybe it's 10,000, you'll be fine. Maybe it's 50,000, a hundred thousand. And you keep telling yourself that and you still, are never satisfied and I think I've come to the conclusion that I will never be satisfied with where I am on YouTube because I will always think that it could go wrong 
that I could become a dead YouTuber, like someone who just stops getting views and like the their audience doesn't like them anymore. And I hate to bring up names, but like Tyler Oakley, Grace Helbig, Hannah Hart, like we all these OG YouTubers have died out. It's a reality. And I don't like that fact that it's a thing. So I just got scared because like I know someone has said, you know, when you go viral, you got four years to get the most of it, or like two years to get the most of it before you die out. And if you don't get the most of it, like if you don't get, um, do what you can, get to the one million, you're just going to die out because you lost your chance. And I am still really scared that like, am I losing my, ch like, I'm, I'm just questioning myself right now. Like, did I fuck up? Did, like, is this, <laughs> am I just, is this the rest of how YouTube's going to go? It's just going to go downhill. I mean, I've lost 2,000 subscribers, and, like, sure, that's not a lot compared to how much I have right now, but I still feel like I'm not doing anything good. And that's so sad to say, because, like, you know how, like, I, I know that I was so uh, proud of myself to get to 100,000, like, to have that plaque, to know that I reached a goal of mine I've had for years, and to still feel like I'm not doing anything in life and that I don't feel like I'm contributing to the world or just helping out a community I don't like thinking that way and I'm so upset that a number like numbers are getting to my head I mean this is like that high school shit you went through like the fact that a number an A plus tells you your whole life like I don't like thinking like that and so the same thing. And the problem is I don't really talk about this to anyone because who the fuck goes through the same thing I am? And I'm sorry. Like, there, I don't know any YouTubers. I know one person. And this bitch is in Washington. Like, I'm not going to talk to him every single day. He got his own life going. I, I want him to have privacy too. But other than that, I'm just... I've been doing YouTube alone. I don't have a friend in LA. I don't talk to YouTubers every day of my life. I'm, like, that's just false. Not every YouTuber is a social social butterfly, okay? Like, I sit down six hours every day to edit. Does that sound social to you? Um, but, I don't know. It's, it's like, whenever something bad goes wrong with me, and it's my personal work, I feel defeated. And I feel like I disappointed people. Like, right now, in my head, I'm just telling you my thoughts. I feel like people don't like me anymore on YouTube, or it's that YouTube isn't recommending my videos to anyone um because they don't watch them anymore like they don't w watch long enough because it's all about watch time everything on youtube guys let me tell you right now if a video if people don't watch the majority of your video or don't watch a good length it's not going to get recommended and i don't know it's just that's how it is that's the algorithm so i just keep getting these notifications on youtube like we're recommending our your video to other people but they're not watching it as long as they used to and i just thought like is it my content then like did i do something like is the college content not good i like normally i always say like my videos can be better i always want to improve my videos and i feel like right now i'm most proud of my work like the vlogs are hard as shit to upload let me just say that it's hard to edit but i love doing them because i it's just it's like a time capsule for me to see and i like that idea of showing my personal life to people not just through commentary just through a camera and as I know people say you do YouTube for you and it's true I am doing it for myself I am happy with the work I'm doing I like editing videos but it's not fun to know that other people don't get to enjoy it or aren't enjoying it like I'm putting all this effort in hoping that it, you guys can see it because I want you to see it and you're not and I don't know why and I know I'm being dramatic but like I don't want to say it again I, I know I'm being dramatic I'm not going to repeat that ever but I just, I don't know, like, maybe it's just a low in YouTube, and, like, someone said, like, my friend said, it's, like, stocks, and I'm, like, I know that people have ups and downs on YouTube, but it you never really know. Like, any day of the week, you could become a dead channel, unrealistically, but still, it could happen. Like, I've now realized every, YouTube, every YouTuber probably has in their head when am i gonna die out on youtube like when is the day coming and it's really draining like 
people will always say YouTube is such a fun job or people will like say you're so lucky to be a YouTuber and I am in so many different ways but one thing that I am scared to talk about and I know a lot of people are scared to talk about but I'm gonna say it anyways because it's valid it's really mentally like it you know to say like, it fucks with your brain okay like it just does like I you have to edit a video because you're pressured to get one every week and you have to keep up with the system and you have to make sure that you're responding to comments all the time and responding to your DMs and you have quality content and you have to edit it yourself along with school and maybe a second job like it gets to you and constantly being on edge like worrying about the lifespan of your channel or how your channel's health is doing is just I don't want to think about it every day and that's just one that's just one thing that's making me upset by the way like a lot so many other things are happening right now that i'm going to talk about later how long is this shit it's 15 minutes oh uh, but i don't know like i wish people could give me an answer i wish there was an answer to what i'm doing wrong or like why is it like this and i go to is it karma like me and karma have a weird relationship okay sometimes i believe in it sometimes i don't and i always tend to believe in it when my life is going to shit <laughs> um so I just think, like, is it because I, well, I didn't open the door for an old lady that, that day, or, like, I was rude to a customer that time, or maybe I was just being a bitch to my friend, like, I don't, was it that, and this is the, car, like, this is the reciprocations, or do people just not like me anymore on my channel, or did I mess up something to deserve this? I don't know. And I know you guys will say, like, Frederick, it's okay, if, like, that's not true at all. And I get that you guys are saying it, and that's like, but you guys are like the 5% of the people who always watch the videos. I want to know what the other 95% are thinking, because seeing my vlog lately is just like not do well at all, and it's just, I really wanted it to do well. Like, I had high expectations for it, and it's hard seeing like those red arrows every day just go down more and more it goes from like 50 percent down to 60 percent down because if you don't know youtube gives you like arrows of your analytics from the like c compared to the last month so it's basically saying your views are down 50 percent from last month your revenue is down 50 percent from last month so is your watch time and so are your subscribers and just seeing those drop 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 every day just <sighs> Like, I think you know what it does to me. Um, it's like seeing your grades drop more and more and not improving. And I know, like, people are going to have sympathy for me. And I, I really appreciate it. I do, trust me. But it's different to have sympathy and different to have empathy for someone. And I wish someone can empathize with me right now. And there's no one. Like... For those of you who don't know the difference, it's someone who's been in this situation. Like, I need someone who knows exactly what I'm going through and can just be there for me. Because I just have a bunch of caring friends who don't know shit about the algorithm and are just trying to give their best advice. And, like, as, as much as I appreciate it, it's not what I need to hear. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. By the way, if you hear background noise, it's because I'm, live, I'm in my dorm right now. So, sorry about that. But... Let's talk about some other stuff that's been upsetting me. Um, guys, sometimes men are absolute assholes. Let me just say that. And don't, like, I don't know why I didn't think this earlier. Do not bother to put effort into someone that doesn't give the effort back to you. Okay? That's just one thing I want you to take from tonight. Just don't bother. And I'm not going to explain what's happening. Like, what happened with that. I'm done with it. I'm so done. And, I, like... Another thing that's been bothering me is, it's hard to say, but, um, like, I'm single right now. I think I've been single for more than two years now. And you guys know I always talk about, like, be independent. Like, yeah, love yourself. And, yeah, those are all true. Like, you should be able to love yourself being single. And right now, I don't. Like, I'm not as confident as I used to be. Um, and I do, like... I like being in a relationship. I think it's fun and nice and romantic because I'm a fucking cancer. Like, bitch, I talk, I think about romance every day. And I think it's mainly because of, like, the time. Like, it's November. It's about to be December. It's Christmas. And then things, like, 
holidays are coming, you get in that mood. And it's also because, coincidentally, like, everyone around me is getting into a relationship. And I just, I know a lot of people think this way. Like, I just think, is it because, like, am I just not wanted? And, like, I got to reject it. I've been rejected, like, what, a couple times already since college. And, like, when it happens to you once, it's, I mean, girls, like, how many times have you gone into a guy and they reject you? And how many of you know the struggle of, like, having to have the courage to go to another male every time and just have that rejection just, like, tear at your self-esteem? For guys, it's just different. Like, they can just... I mean, it's not, like, guys, every guy. I'm talking, like, for straight males and, like, straight females. Like, it's harder for girls, okay? And it's easier for guys because they can just go to a bar and like find a girl and they, if, if they say if they get rejected oh whatever you weren't cute anyways and go to the next person but for girls it's like you get ready you do all this shit only to get rejected and you feel like I don't feel attractive that's just the truth and I <sighs> it's hypocritical of me I know but I don't feel attractive and I know people are going to be like, Frederick, you have how many followers? You know how many gay guys and straight girls want to get with you? And it's like, yeah, I know. I went through a relationship with one. It was a long-term relationship. It fucking destroyed me. Like, I don't want that again. So it's... And I can't go on dating apps because then, like, I just get embarrassed because I feel like someone's just going to find me and recognize me. And I don't, like, I don't want that. It's just... I don't know. I have a weird relationship with dating apps. I don't really think it's genuine or something. That's just my personal opinion, though. Do what you want. So I'm just here. And it's like... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> People keep saying, like, you're a catch, Frederick. Like, you... There's a lot about you. And, like... No, sh like, don't date someone who's not going to appreciate all of it. And it's like... There isn't even anyone who wants to. So there's... I just need to breathe. Let's all take a second to breathe. And like another thing, I, th I think the last thing that's been upsetting me is, oh, honestly, I forgot. <laughs> um, no, I do remember. Like, I don't know if people know still, but I have an online friend group that's been with me for a long time. And I, I left it because we had a little fight and an argument and I don't feel the need to come back and I don't know why because I, I expected to want to come back because I've known them for two years and I just don't know like what I don't know why I don't want I don't have the will to come back but I also don't really have a will to do anything right now so I, that's probably part of it. I just don't know. Like, there's more to that story that I don't want to get into just because I want to keep the people's privacy. And sometimes I think, like, am I just being, am I just overthinking everything? Like, am I just an overreactor? And do I just take things out of proportion? Because it makes me, I, I don't want to be the bitch who chooses a friend group, like, who dishes a friend group for another. Like, I don't want to turn into. You leave your true friends just for temporary friends, and I, I think I'm gonna end this soon. Um, I'm not crying, by the way. I, I'm about to. I've never really cried on camera. It's not a thing I do. Um, but that's what has been going on in my life, and if you're still listening, I just why <laughs> um thank you i guess for hearing me out and i just know that i appreciate all of you like at the bottom of my heart it's i don't know what i would be without this i don't know what i'd be without people who care about me every day and take the time to ask about ask about my day and i just don't want to disappoint you guys and i hope this video 
just brings us closer so you get a feel for what I'm going through because I don't want to pretend I'm happy all the time on camera it's not something it's not my way of going through life um so just know that next week if I'm not as happy you know like you know it's okay um I'm not gonna take a break by the way for anyone who's saying like maybe just take a break from YouTube that'll only make things worse this you don't like YouTube is like photography for me. It's like painting for me. It's an escape from reality. I get to express myself. I get to do what I love. So the last thing I want to do is disconnect from you guys even more. Because I feel like I've been doing that lately. Um, but I think I'm going to go now. My friends are upstairs waiting. Uh, I'm going to upload this and get out of the way. Um... <laughs> Christmas merch is coming, if you don't know. Uh, well, it's already out, but like, just be ready for Black Friday. It'll be on sale. Um, and I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to promote anything anymore. Okay. Well, I love you guys, and everything's less than three. And hopefully things get better for me and for anyone else who's in, who just isn't in the best situation. I hope it gets better for you too because you all deserve to be happy. Okay. Goodbye.